Welcome to another free tip of the week brought to you by ExcelLearningZone.com. I'm your instructor, Richard Rost. In today's lesson, I'm going to show you how to create running totals in an Excel spreadsheet. Okay, here I am in a real simple Excel spreadsheet that I've set up that has month, sales, and a column for a running total. Now, what is a running total? Well, a running total is simply the sales up to that point. So here in cell C2, the running total would just be the sales for January. So I can put that in here as equals B2. And that's all, just 100. Now for February, the running total is going to be the sales for January and February. So that would be represented as equals the sum of, open parentheses, and then these guys, B2 and B3. And I'll press Enter. Now you'll see Excel's throwing up a little warning flag here, that little green arrow in the corner. And if you drop down the message, it says formula omits adjacent cells. That just simply means we've typed in a formula that's ignoring a bunch of cells, all these cells down here. And that's okay. So what I'm going to do is just ignore this error. All right, so the next running total down here for March is going to be equal to the sum of all of this stuff. Okay, B2 through B4 now. So you can see each cell builds on the one above it. And again, I have to keep ignoring that error. That's fine. So we're properly building a running total here. And that's okay. You could do this if you just have a small sheet. However, if you have a very long sheet with, let's say, 100 rows, then this is going to get pretty tedious. You can't just copy and paste this, right? Copy and paste. And let's see, B3 to B5. No, that's not right. See up here, B3 to B5. It didn't copy it correctly. I'd have to readjust this and then press Enter and still ignore the error message. So that's not going to work. So let me get rid of that. What about autofill? Could I autofill it down the column? Let's see that. Highlight all this stuff and then autofill it down. And now these aren't right. That's not working either. Okay, so let me undo that. So there needs to be a better way to generate that running total so that I can just drag it down the column and have it work. Well, in order to do that, we have to understand the difference between relative references and absolute references. Most references in Excel are relative references. For example, if I come over here and I say this equals B2 plus 10, let's say, enter. If I autofill this down, Excel automatically changes the formula so that each cell here is relative to the row it's in. See, B7 plus 10, B8 plus 10, and so on. That's a relative reference. That's relative to the row it's in. Well, let me get rid of that. If I make that an absolute reference with the use of dollar signs, watch this, equals dollar sign B, dollar sign 2, plus 10, I've just now made that an absolute reference. And if I press Enter and autofill that down, notice how Excel doesn't change it. The dollar signs say, always keep this as cell B2. Don't change it if you autofill or copy and paste. Now, for those of you who are curious, I talk a lot more about relative and absolute references in my Excel 201 class, which you can find on my website. Now, let's delete this stuff. How does this affect my running total? Well, instead of saying the sum of B2 to B3 here, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get rid of this stuff here. Change this guy. I'm going to say this is equal to the sum of dollar sign B, dollar sign 2, colon, B2. What that's going to do is it's going to say, make this the sum from B2, always staying B2, through whatever the current cell is when I autofill it down. And watch this. Click, autofill, drag, and we're done. Now we get this error message here again. Drop it down, ignore. And if you want to get rid of all of them, you can drop this box down, go to error checking options. And then under error checking rules, just turn off the formulas which omit cells in a region. I hate that myself. Then hit OK. And that'll turn off that warning message for the remainder of the sheet. 
But you can see here now that my running total is working perfectly. And if we examine the formula, you can see right here V2 absolute to B6, B7, B8, and so on. And the B2 is absolute. It never changes. When I autofill that down, that creates the running total. Now, once again, I do cover this and a lot more in my Excel classes. Specifically, absolute references are covered in Excel 201, and you can find that on my website at ExcelLearningZone.com. And while you're at my website, be sure to check out the Tips and Tricks section, and you'll find lots more free video tutorials just like this one. YouTube viewers, you can watch my full Excel 101 course that's over an hour of lessons by going to this special webpage, ExcelLearningZone.com slash YouTube. Just sign up on the webpage there. It's free, and you can watch my entire Excel 101 course.